Both hospitals I spoke to today say they have seen an influx in calls and people looking to get screened for COVID-19. And to get tested, you do still have to go through that screening process. At Mercy Hospital in Northwest Arkansas, they've been prepared for the rush of people looking for tests before the surge was announced. We've had a process in place and we have been prepared working with the governor's office and the uh, Arkansas Department of Health to kind of anticipate a large increase or influx of volume. So we've had that infrastructure in place um, prior to this. Mercy is able to give about 50 coronavirus tests per day. At Baptist Health, they increased their hours in response to the governor's announcement, adding hours of extra daily testing for today and tomorrow. We've been doing one to four, so we're doing eight to five. So that's a pretty good expansion to try to accommodate the surge plan. Dr. Johnson believes the surge in testing will help show a bigger picture of coronavirus in the state and get more answers to people with symptoms. Increasing the volume of testing is a great idea in the sense that it's going to give us a nice two-day window here to really see uh, where we're at in Arkansas. So I'm very hopeful that people will respond to this. If they have a concern, if they've been worried uh, about potentially having the virus, this is a great time for them to come and get tested. The surge continues tomorrow. To get started, hospitals recommend calling the hotlines for screening. Anyone with respiratory symptoms, a fever, and a cough is encouraged to make that call. Live in Fayetteville, Cole Zimmerman, 4029 News.